Let's get back into the Bridgerton. Season three, episode three. Hey. Okay, so I don't know how Colin and Penelope's gonna keep this up. Last episode, obviously the secret's out. Colin's trying to help her get a man and it's just like, okay. Where's this leading to? The only thing I can see this leading to, and I think we all know, like after episode two, you get the you kinda get the point. Like it hints. It hints to them falling in love. I mean, they literally just gave each other a kiss. That's not going to go well when he's your biggest crush and you never looked at any other man. That's a big deal. And I don't know about y'all, but coming from a toxic family, toxic sisters, brothers, parents, whoever, grandma, whoever, and you're the black sheep, it's like you're so closed in. So when she writes... It's like she's so open, she's so free, and I love that for Penelope. But I don't know how I feel about her and Colin. Like, I just don't. But like I was saying, I feel like it's gonna be like a love thing. It's them falling in love. I don't think, I think we have to like still draw Collins in. And I feel like that's too much. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. And I'm here to fight for love. But not if you're so blind to where I have to still drill you in. I'm going to help you as a friend. Well, okay. I accept it, but I, I'm in love with you. And now we kissing. Let's go ahead and jump into episode three. Put your opinions down below. Follow me, Joshua, with me on the Patreon. Go join me over there. I appreciate it. Help your homegirl out. Support your homegirl. I appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to smash the button, guys. Two seconds, two clicks. Smash the button, guys. Hit that right one. Force of nature. No, let's see what this one brings because what? I apologize for the late hour. I have to see you immediately. Okay. I eat. I, I, I can barely speak. This is it. So you like me now? Are you? You like me now? I feel this deep. You occupy my every thought. That is literally her. It's juicy. Baby. Colin over here having wet dreams. Baby. If I could even see it. Oh. Tell me one more time what precisely the Queen said to you, dearest. Favor, she shall have her pick of suitors. It changes everything. Hmm. Something keep you up? I Kept thought. him dreaming. I slept peacefully. Not even a dream. He lying. She never whistled and wrote what she did. Or that she found out about it in the first place. Uh, excuse me. It starts with the dream. Dearest <laughs> gentle reader, it seems Her Majesty is interested in only one. The suitor, Miss Francesca Mary, of Lord Debling. I hear he is eager to take a wife this season. You must throw it like you mean it, Lady Dan. <laughs> I've received word of an unwanted visitor. Ooh. Do you wish your queen to banish this guest? It's not worth your time. <laughs> oh. I do not think I will grow up any when I'm a child. I've always kept quite an elegant Male. <laughs> What, do you mean it's little head and body it's inside a whole human. Me? Oh, she What's obviously ain't saying? talked to them about nothing. It's sickening. <laughs> it's not sickening. Because I was one of those girls. Just just like blah. Going out in the world blind. You have to have that talk. If not, this is the outcome. Y'all remember last episode? <laughs> she ain't know where she was sticking her... She ain't know where her man was sticking his zero bar at. <laughs> I love zero bars. <laughs> Boys, Mama. A week sequestered in your room. You come down, you say this to me. For Miss Penelope. Collins? I noticed you've not been seen in society for some time. Would have looked strange if Whistledown had not commented. What she wrote about herself. I fear it may have been my fault. The rumor about you and Colin got out. I'll approach you if it was. It wasn't. Do you like to come in? I have a few new books that make me. No. But I do hope you find what you are looking for yeah. this season. She do know she in love with her brother, right? She has to know. It's never that serious. Look at him, still behind us. So we hide under a tree. We cannot continue our lessons. Why? I'm just glad you made it till tomorrow, ma'am, because you was being real depressing. Talk about one kiss. I never had one, ma'am. <laughs> But I assure you, nothing of the kind will ever happen. Next again. time we gonna bob tongue. Of course. <laughs> the lessons. 
You said they cannot continue. Sensible. In fact, it may be best if we keep our distance for now. Well, I, I wish very much for your happiness. He really wanted to say I was dreaming about you. Thank you driving me crazy. For all your kindness. So pretty. Details. I find his concern for the wilderness endearing. It's rather fast. The man who talks to birds. <laughs> Do not find a husband soon. Your father and I will be forced oh, to find no. one for you. He see what you're doing. He see your it. sisters are otherwise <laughs> occupied. I think I see a corner in which to hide myself. Yeah, like I always do, just hide in a corner. I cannot stand this TV show. To Penelope. I apologized for revealing the story about you two. Thank you for that. Excuse me. Lower ranking lords always show their feathers first. Once they've had their fill, the higher ranking lords inevitably descend. Yikes. You must simply follow your heart. That is so good. I did wonder if there might be some kind of introduction. I'm glad she gets that option. Lady Bridgerton. She don't want to deal with Lady it. Lady Danbury. Miss Francesca, how delightful to see you. Miss Featherington. My lord. Are you enjoying your evening? Help you find a husband. Ew. <laughs> Ew. Don't flatter yourself. The audacity of both of y'all. Ladies. Yeah, we here now. We here to stay. What a strikingly noble I'll take my black ass to the ball too. too. <laughs> right. Gallant, even. It is the mark of a good man to help a friend in need. That's how you and should sure see it. Your kind exactly. You will find yourself a husband in no time. The detention of hungry mamas. Mm -hmm. Mamas. You have my apologies. <laughs> but uh, it does seem to have worked. So you have my gratitude as well. Could use the distraction. <laughs> it will be my honor. Mm. Be happy as hell. Don't, don't make eye contact. Fortunately, I require all pity for myself, but I can offer you social contagion in exchange. I've foregone eating the flesh of dead animals and they barely tolerate me for that great sin. I enlisted an eligible male friend to help me find a husband. I say. Just like him. <laughs> He's gonna be annoying. He's dead. <laughs> In fact, I find your frankness immensely refreshing. Yeah, you just have to find a person for you, honestly. It is only, you do not seem to care for nature. <laughs> At all. Or for animals. At all. Both of which are apparently his great passion. I am as resolved as you are to be kind to her, but I'm certain all Devling simply sees her as yet another wounded creature in need of defense. Oh my gosh, now we're about to be fighting over a man that's Bones not ours. I'm also lucky to have the support of our families as you do. Will you help me? I do have a few books on natural history I could lend you. <laughs> oh, what an egg. Do not be so ridiculous. Hold your nose. You both wish to have a boy, yes. It's actually not so bad. Unexpectedly sweet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Chamber pot. Chamber pot. I mean, pot. she did tell you. <laughs> see how rich people have fun. Let's see, let's see. <laughs> I did think it would be bigger. Excuse me. Right. Colin Lord Devlin has shown an interest in me. Hmm. Look that way at Stowell House. Feel some attachment to him. It is early. He does seem to have a strength of character. Oh shit. And he's about to drool. Do I have sugar on my face? Nah, he got sugar on his no. face. Salty he hooked you up with another man. <laughs> Good day to you, <laughs> Magnificent balloon, isn't it? Is there some reason you are trying to escape civilization, my lord? <laughs> oh, the pursuit of natural beauty? Rather than string my sides, I decided long ago to forge my own path. Far away from them. Okay, so it's just me and you, me and you and the kids. I guess it depends if you're close with your family. My lord, I do not wish to intrude. Nonsense. You know that bird I was telling you I adore? Uh, the great orc. Please, Eloise. <laughs> I find that so touching. touching. <laughs> <laughs> one should not overlook the sparrow. Please, Pico. <laughs> I suppose one should not. <laughs> <laughs> He over here looking like a tiger. You are in your elements, my love. I suppose I'm beginning to feel more at home. I'm guessing. Well. Must we attend tonight's ball? What is the rule? We can do whatever we want. I know that's right. Some glasses on. <laughs> Be a disguise. As I have found a more durable. Can you steer them? <laughs> Steering or not, it seems they might make for useful vehicles to escape the eager mamas present outside. Apologies. I thought you. A man. Were, uh, 
Yeah. A man. Uh, this man's ingenuity will drive forth practical progress. Not to hear the familiar chorus of what cannot be done. Another comment or? No. To meet you. He is a Marquis. What's a Marquis? My lord. The first spark of affection. It is electrifying, is it not? Grass. What about the grass do you the so love, Miss Featherington? Uh, green. <laughs> he has singular passions, to be sure. But I do not believe there to be anything untoward about him, besides his untoward love of vegetables. Do you think that is normal? Something about to happen. Windy. I must feel your lips upon mine. You've never looked more. Did they get some of the juice? Swept. The is that? Just close your eyes, close your eyes. Oh. Why would you push your fuzz then? Of course, Colin saves the day. And she falls. Who will save her? We are. Let it go! That was a little dramatic, but... That was a thrilling distraction, was it not? It was a good thing no one was injured. Well, he was cute at first. I don't know about now. No, you cannot save all the girls. <laughs> it is! Tall chocolate. Hot chocolate! <laughs> Everyone Annie Tall? Talking about Mr. <laughs> You may think me harsh, Cressida, but if you knew the ways your father is trying to put me under his thumb. I mean, I guess that would be I am in awe of your heroism. <laughs> Are you just as heroic on the dance floor? Don't! Don't! In fact, I wish to have eight children of my own. You want eight humans to come out Don't of me? Excuse me a moment. I gotta go. That was it. That was a deal breaker. For your other glove? Uh, no, no. <laughs> Thank you for earlier. Oops. It becomes a home when your children are near, as you carry them with you wherever you go. He's saying I all the right words. I've seen you before. Met my brother. I, your brother? Lord Marcus Anderson. Formerly. Hmm. Nah, your name's Violet. Marcus has just you arrived in town. Yeah, she keep y'all in the dark. She don't say nothing about y'all. Anderson. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Perhaps we can enjoy the silence together. Well, quit talking. She had to get a second look at him, make sure he was cute. <laughs> okay, mama. Hello again. I am surprised to see you here. After all, a ballroom is a mama's favorite hunting ground. <laughs> it is on everyone's lips, as you and your brother are amongst the heroes of the day. Oh, okay. In fact, I much prefer it to Amos talking. Lady Tilly Arnold. I have had seasons to mourn, and I am in no hurry to find another husband. I am not afraid of you. It's a mistake. Ooh, she liked that. She a little older too, no wrong with that? Members of society do not work. If you shoot as well as you pour, I do hope to see you on the hunt. Lord Eblin. Miss Featherington. Any more encounters with wayward balloons? Not at present. Grass. I do not hate it, but I much prefer being indoors. I see. Someone who enjoys society and gossip, even if I do occasionally hide at a soiree. How many yous are there exactly? And where do you hide them all? If I only ever talked about nature, my dinner party invitations would cease altogether. I want to be with someone who knows who they are. I told you that's as I do. I told you that's all she needs. I, like I said, I keep saying, "Oh, she deserves this. She deserves this," but she deserves to love herself more too, and that's exactly what's wrong. Her confidence. She has to bring it up more. As I believe you do as well. <laughs> she, she's salty. Perhaps it is for the best. I wish for Francesca the same thing I wanted for myself. Excitement, a love that is thrilling. 
And how did you and Father know it was reciprocated? Because he gathered the courage to ask. Here we go. Look who's he looking at, Mom. With his eyeballs. I hope she is as well. Are you well? There is a question. No, I'm sick. I have been sick and needing to ask you. Colin. Our nature will always win out. No, it's not. It's the wrong time, man. Of course. Did she take his hand? My lord. It seems Lord Debling's instinct is in pick of the season. Colin Salty. Well, we really not upset because this is what Penelope been going through, although we don't want Colin going through it, but. I feel sick. As do I. No, truly, I feel sick. They are so ill. She's oh. pregnant. <laughs> it is quite clear that the battle is, in fact, between man and himself. No, we definitely should figure out if that's really what he wants before he jumps into to letting her know, hey, I really like you. Over that kiss, over that dream, I feel like that's not enough. When it comes to Penelope, I feel like it's enough because she's been in love with him going on years. They, she probably in love with him since the family met type stuff. So, I don't know. It's deeper when it comes to Penelope, but when it comes to Collins, yes, he wanted to be explorer, but he never looked at her like that. At least he didn't give those signs. So I, but I do feel bad. I mean, do I think this other man is going to work out? No. But if it wasn't Collins, I feel like that would be a good match for her. It seems like. It seems like. Force of nature. Yeah, we don't want to force it. We don't want to be in competition with nobody. But I get it in this type of thing, being a diamond. But when you're not picked as a diamond, you're just a regular citizen. No. 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 I'm not chasing to get to a man first. <laughs> To get to nobody. <laughs> it's like, nah, I know you guys know I joke around through the whole TV show. I really do not be upset. But I do love, I love Bridgerton um, season three. It brings so much. It brings so much spice, juiciness. I mean, gosh, this for the grown folks. <laughs> season three, yeah, this all for the grown folks. Okay, but today we can check the list. Season F, season three, episode three. Put your opinions down below. Don't get smashed your Hit the real one. Full things. Actually, we'll be on Patreon. Go join me over there. Support your home girl. I appreciate it. And let's get to episode four. This one is called Old Friends. Let's go.